Welcome, everyone. I think we'll get started. We're actually still waiting for one of our discussants, but we're hoping she'll arrive shortly. And I think I don't want to delay you anymore um, because we've obviously got a, a lot to talk about this morning. Welcome to ODI. My name's Alison Evans, and I'm director of ODI. Um, and I'm delighted today to be able to chair this first in what we hope will be a series of events um, uh, looking at the relationship between electoral processes and democratic governance and democratic transitions. Um, and this is part of a work program that has been put together and led largely by Alina Rokomenikal, who's sitting over there, who's in our politics and governance program here in ODI. And I think is an attempt, uh, in a way, to sort of bring back a discussion about um, uh, not only broader issues to do with political transition and the relationship to um, uh, development, but crucially to look at the role that elect elections and electoral processes play in bringing about stable and um, uh, effective political transitions. And I think we, as an international community, have kind of bobbed in and out in our enthusiasm for elections as the primary tool of democratic change. And I think this is a really good moment, given what's been going on in a whole <coughs> number of parts of the world, to sort of take another look at, at, at the way in which we both understand the contribution of elections and also how they can be managed more effectively to provide voice and support uh, peaceful transitions of power. And uh, the background to this, to this uh, meeting today, I think, is particularly interesting, given uh, uh, the recent electoral outcomes in Kenya, which is one of our focus countries, but also a number of other countries within sub-Saharan Africa, where you know, we have indeed seen, perhaps uh, for one of the first times in uh, recent memory, a whole number of peaceful transitions uh, through the electoral process. Um, but also marred by some much lesser <laughs> peaceful transitions and also some um, uh, attempts to seize power by other means. And, of course, we're seeing difficulties taking place in Mali in that respect right now, in Central African Republic and elsewhere. So I think the backdrop to this meeting is, is particularly apposite. We have a fantastic group of speakers and discussants who are, who are all experts in their own way on different uh, dimensions of the questions we have um, for you in this event. And I'll introduce at least some of them here now, and including our speaker who's there uh, on the VC, who we're delighted to have here. Um, I think you're sitting in Nairobi, Dowdy, is that right? That's correct. Okay. And, uh, I have in Nairobi. Good. All right, so let me do a very quick introduction. Um, I'm going to introduce everyone, everyone who's here, and then I'll introduce, Mika uh, introduce Michaela when she comes. Okay, so immediately on my right, Gabriella Lynch, who's associate uh, Associate Professor, Department of Politics and International Studies at the University of Warwick, and um, has been um, focusing much of her uh, work for quite some time now on issues of ethnic, di ethnic identities and politics, uh, transitional justice efforts, elections, and so forth in, in Kenya. And uh, you're going to start us off, I think, Gabrielle, with some of your, uh, Gabrielle, uh, some of your um, uh, reflections on um, the electoral transition that we've just seen uh, taking place in Kenya. And then on my far right, uh, Kojo Asante, who is uh, currently a PhD student at the University of Manchester, IDPM, but has actually uh, spent quite a number of years as head of programs and a senior research officer at the Ghana Center for Democratic uh, Development, actually uh, an organization in Ghana that we in ODI have partnered with on many occasions over the years um, and have got good working relationships with. And Kojo has has worked extensively on issues of democracy and governance um, uh, in Ghana and Africa more broadly, and has had a very interesting kind of on-the-ground experience, having been responsible, sort of leading the kind of command center for uh, the ele election observers in the Ghana elections of 2008 and 2012. So we're going to be looking there at two slightly contrasting experiences of um, <coughs> electoral processes and electoral transition. And then on my... Uh, uh, and on the VC, our next speaker is uh, Daudi Weir, who is, I hope to many of you, well known as a, a co-founder of uh, Ushahidi, uh, based in Kenya, which is um, actually a, a technology company born out of, in a sense, the experience of, of the last um, 
at the previous elections in Kenya, in, in, in which there was an attempt to try and develop a free and kind of open software for information collection, visualization, interactive mapping to identify where the hotspots were in, in, in connection with the violence that ensued after the last elections in Kenya. But Dowdy is also incredibly well known on the continent as someone who has been promoting uh, the relationship between technology and citizen engagement in all kinds of forms across the Africa continent. So very welcome, Dowdy. And then we have two discussants <laughs> um, to add to the rich mix. Um, now, I'm going to have problems with your surname, so I'll have a first pass. <laughs> Apologies <laughs> if, because uh, it's a very interesting surname. Where is it from originally? It's from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia and Herzegovina, all right. Sead Alihodzic. That's Not bad. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Good enough. Um, who is uh, currently, um, let me get this right, with International IDEA, which is the Institute for Democracy and Electoral Assistance, based in, in Stockholm, I think, yeah. so, if I'm right, but also spent many years at the sort of field level for OSCE, who uh, many of you will know um, is the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe that does a huge amount of support to election processes across Europe. So he has some really fantastic uh, field level experience of ele electoral processes and electoral transitions and also has contributed a number of key publications I think majoring on on issues of elections and violence actually and conflict so I think we'll get a particularly interesting perspective from Sayed and finally just in time Michaela Rong that's fine better late than never Michaela Rong who I'm, I'm sure is very well known to you is someone a journalist who has worked on African issues now for for many years and has um, been a very a influential commentator and observer of events linked to political transitions and uh, uh, and and the whole um, creation of, of, of states and and so forth in in Africa and is um, probably most recently best known for her for her book um, it's our turn to eat which tracks the story of the Kenyan whistleblower John Githongo uh, in Kenya and uh, uh, the events that ensued around uh, his role in identifying problems of corruption and so forth in the Kenyan, in the Kenyan state. So we're delighted to have you all here. Thank you very much indeed. And um, with no further ado, I'm going to pass over to Gabrielle. Just to say, we are streaming this whole event uh, online, as we always do in ODI. So any rec any comments that are made are kind of effectively on the record. Um, so be aware. And when we come to the discussion part, if you could identify yourself and use a microphone, please, because otherwise people online can't hear what you're saying. So over to you, Gabrielle. 